You know me, STMT. Man, check this out. We got big news. But first, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. You know what I'm saying? Stay locked in to the gang. If you love football and fitness, this is the perfect channel for you. I got a lot of drills coming from our young athletes. And I'm going to stay on top of these sports topics, letting you guys know how I feel about all these big moves going on in the NFL and in college, college football. Now, let's get to it. Huge news. The Baltimore Ravens release Earl Thomas, which is crazy. They just signed him. He had a solid year. He's, you know, one of the best free safeties in a long time in the NFL. Very talented, very great ball hawk skills, solid tackler, veteran. You know what I mean? They brought him to that team. He added a lot of veteran, you know, experience. And just, just that extra, you know, oomph of having that great player that played in the Super Bowl, won the Super Bowl, especially on that young team that could use his experience. But he ended up getting a fight with another safety. Um, Chuck Clark punched him, and that led to him being released from the team, which is crazy. We got to look at that. A lot of guys get in fights during training camp, during practice. You know, Josh Norman got in a fight with Cam, you know what I mean? Steve Smith broke two of his teammates' jaws, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get released. So we have to look at it as one, Earl Thomas is a lot older. He's not as a, he's not in his prime, so maybe they felt like he was too much of a headache. Um, they paid him a lot of money. They may try to go after some of his money since they released him due to his conduct. So we gotta look at that. And we gotta look at Earl Thomas. Um, as a player, he has a certain kind of, uh, I don't want to hate on him and say he's not a bad, he's a bad teammate, but he has a personality that doesn't go well with everyone. We look at when he was in the Seahawks, he had issues with Bobby Wagner. I did a whole video how he ran after a game to the Cowboys locker room saying, come get me. I thought that was crazy right there. People to go, oh, that's cool. That's a business. For me, that's crazy. If you're on my team, that's disrespectful. You go to another team during the season and say, come get me disrespectful but hey everybody thought it was cool y'all just ain't solid as me that's how i feel about it but we look at earl thomas you know reports are that a lot of people didn't want him as a part of that team a lot of players on that team which is crazy you think about how talented he is how much a veteran he is um you know to think that people wouldn't want him as part of their team he posted on his social media you know the blown coverage that led to the fight with this um safety is his teammate he went to like take up for himself and he seems to be moving on and he's over it. But then we also haven't heard a lot of uh, Ravens teammates come up and step up and speak for him. So I think it kind of says something about him that people didn't want him there. So why didn't they want him there and it had to do with a lot of his personality and maybe he was getting along with everybody. And that's just the way it is. A team is a lot of different personalities and his personality probably didn't mesh well with a lot of people. So they, had to move him out, which is huge. Now we have to look at Earl Thomas, what's next for him. He could end up going to Dallas Cowboys. He did tell him, come get me. So they missed out on Jamal Adams. This will be huge for the Cowboys, get help in their secondary, get this veteran that he's played at um, Texas, he's from Texas. He wants to come home and finish his career there. So I think that's the perfect move if the Cowboys, you know, make that move. The 49ers, Patriots, there's a lot of teams that could use his services, but I think people will need to look at it, look at him and also his personality. Is can his personality mesh with these teams? Do they have the coaches and the players around that can get along with him? Because, you know, he was a great player for Seattle for a long time. Small guy, you know, makes big plays, a lot of heart. He'll go at big guys. You know, a lot of times guys like that, you know, you get that small man complex and you got to be bigger than life. And I think he has a personality where he's bigger than life. He wants to do everything perfect in his way. And if it doesn't go that way, it may lead to issues. So it looks like just after one season, you know what I mean? He wasn't there very long. One season with the Baltimore Ravens and their team that's running for a Super Bowl, they get rid of him. That says a lot. He's very talented. For a team to get rid of a very talented player, that says a lot. They, that says that, you know, the ownership, the, you know, the coaches, and also a lot of the players didn't want him there anymore. You know what I mean? And his... His uh, talent with headache, you know, just measurement, it just wasn't added up. He was more of a headache than his talent can afford. So that says a lot, man. This is huge. I was shocked. This came out of nowhere for me. But you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let me know which team should sign Earl Thomas. I'm out. SDMT!